Coming up on Biker News, sad story up in Canada about a young kid that got beaten to death by guards and now they're complaining they're being threatened by outlaw motorcycle clubs like the Hells Angels. Wah, wah, wah. What you did to that kid was messed up. Also, we send out our condolences to the Banditos Motorcycle Club as well as the DA is now seeking the death penalty against a double murderer, one that shot at Rooster Katana's house. Coming up. I always find it funny how law enforcement plays the victim when it comes to people threatening them. Always playing the victim. But there's a case up in Canada where a young kid, he was an MMA fighter, was beaten by guards over a dispute, over a towel. He was found unresponsive in his cell. Let's go to that story. It's by Kate uh, Dubinsky out of CBC News. It w- His name was Brandon Bam Bam Marchant, and he died on July 6th after being found unresponsive and the story was updated of course you can see all the bikers out there hell's angels way to go that is showing what's up they were doing burnouts in front of the prison gates which is awesome showing support to this kid's family the caption under the photo showed hundreds of bikers the kid was loved, including some who had uh, belonged to outlaw motorcycle clubs. Gotta put that in there. See the setup already in the media against them. Now, the union that represents the guards at London's provincial jail is calling on the province to protect staff at Elgin Middlesex Detention Center. I wonder if they'd be calling on that to protect inmates from guards' abusive and excessive force on them, but I'm guessing they wouldn't. Uh, He goes on the claim guards have been threatened and intimidated by OMC's members in recent days. Why? Because they're out there protesting in front of your gates where you killed the kid? That's being threatening? No, that's showing support just like a BLM or something like that here in the United States. Quote, we will not tolerate attempts to intimidate these frontline heroes. So now they're heroes after beating this kid over dispute of a towel. Now they're frontline heroes in the joint. Last time I checked, frontline heroes were healthcare workers fighting the COVID, firefighters, and such. Those, I thought, were frontline heroes. And he goes on to say, I condemn this harassment in the strongest possible terms and call on the Solicitor General to intervene immediately. Where was that concern for this kid? Where's that concern? Why ain't the Solicitor General looking into this kid's killing? If he is, I don't see it. Uh, Members of the Hells Angels and other biker clubs went to the jail after the funeral. He was only 32 years old. Brandon Bam Bam Marchant, family members who also uh, lost loved ones were there as were indigenous dancers and healers. He was in jail for just one night, one night, and was found unresponsive in his cell in the morning. One night. The Ministry of Solicitor General, the Office of the Chief Coroner, and London's police, they're claiming to be investigating. Hmm, Interesting. There's the pic of the kid, 32 years old, man. Uh, He was an MMA fighter. He worked in construction. 
The inmates uh, said he was assaulted by the guards after a dispute over the towel. Uh, details of that assault were, were first reported in the London Free Press. Oh my God, you guys are uh, reporting on something. Uh, now, the OPSEU calls the report biased and unsubstantiated. Are you kidding me? It's bias now, huh? Just like your bias against motorcycle clubs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How does it feel to be on the other side of the foot? Uh, the situation at the jail keeps escalating, and the Solicitor General, according to this union rep, let's try to be nice, must denounce threats by bikers. Since the funeral protesters at the jail had been stopping cars, photographing staff, and threatening guards on social media. Quote, staff in the ministry have been working closely with local London police to take steps necessary to ensure the ongoing safety of both staff and inmates. Yeah, where was uh, those steps being taken when this kid was killed? One night, man. One night. Now, earlier in that month, jail officials removed crosses placed near the jail for the 18 inmates who have died there since 2019. Or 2009. 18 inmates. You don't think there's a problem there? Jesus, man. Uh, sad state of affairs. Our condolences go out to the Bandito Nation on the loss of Gary Paul Brendito Wiggs. He was 71 of Little Rock, Arkansas. He passed away on July 26, 2021 at Veterans Hospital in Little Rock. He was born January 19, 1950 in Arkansas, raised in the Little Rock area. He graduated from Central High School. He is survived by his wife of 45 years, God bless, 45 years. Diane Wiggs, his son Brian, his stepdaughter, uh, lots of family he survived by. He's preceded in death by his uh, father Frank, his mother Margaret. He served in the United States Marines for four years. God bless. Uh, he was a heavy uh, equipment operator and laid water lines for the city. Uh, he was also a proud member of the Banditos Motorcycle Club for 49 years. Hell yeah, 49 years. Uh, serving as president of the Little Rock chapter for 14 or 15 years before joining the Banditos Nomad chapter. Uh, so our uh, condolences go out to the Banditos Motorcycle Club on the loss of a 49-year member. My God. And a vet of the United States. He uh, served in the Marines. Now, craziness over here. Westmoreland DA is going to seek the death penalty in Penn Township double murder. Uh, this by the Tribune Review out of Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, John Peck says he will seek the death penalty against a North Honeydun man accused of gunning down a Penn Township couple. Uh, that was from May. Uh, I guess he gunned down uh, Jacob and Mara, uh, came amid a four-day crime spree by Victor Frederick Staban that police said started May 14th and included accusations that he shot in the homes in Henfield. Yes, he did. Uh, quote, uh, let's see here, where we go with that quote. It's a case where there are multiple aggravated circumstances and the nature of the killings themselves warrant the death penalty. Now, Staban 53 was arrested May 18th, two days after he ambushed the couple as they returned home from a motorcycle ride. So they were bikers, my goodness. According to the police, uh, the afternoon of the 16th, he drove to the uh, home that they shared and waited for hours in a tree line about 150 uh, yards away. 
Uh, he killed them with an AR-15, and uh, he was captured two days later when police spotted him walking near his home. Uh, let's see here. Let's go uh, a little bit uh, further here. Uh, here we go. One of the homes that he was uh, accused of shooting at is the Hemfield residence of Dennis Rooster Katona, the former national leader of the Pagans Motorcycle Club. He told the reporters after his preliminary hearing that his violent crime spree was all about getting Rooster. This dude is has a bunch of screws loose, if you ask me. Uh, he has six uh, criminal cases filed against him my goodness gracious is it getting freaking nuts out there or not man but this story up in canada is pretty messed up man 18 and he was the 19th person to die in custody in that jail since 2009 there is a problem in that jail people but these guards unions can come out and cry and whine that they're being targeted or facing verbal threats or whatever they're saying uh because the hell's angels were up there in force of course the news is going to cover it which is unfortunate they should be uncover uh freaking covering the 19 people and figuring out what's wrong and going on in that jail I don't know, man. I don't know. Pretty messed up story. Again, our condolences go out to the Banditos on the loss of a 49-year-old or a 49-year member. Hard to find them older guys nowadays that's been in a club that long. So if you do, shake their hand. Let them tell you some stories. I bet you'll love it. Uh, anyway, don't forget to go over to my other channel. Like and subscribe that. James Hollywood Mashkari. And that has to deal with a lot of biker stuff as well. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel we got biker news and all kinds of topics on this one so appreciate all the support don't forget to download the insane throttle radio app listen to rock and roll 24 7 80s to today i'm outy i'm going over to the hollywood and china Dow show right now you can listen on the app or go to insanevoltage.com rock on